Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This weekend we couldn't go to the cabin because we had a serious chore to do back on our homestead. Ollie's hard at work getting our wood shop ready for the cold Alaskan winter. Even the moose are helping us prepare for winter. They're not your typical gardeners, but they sure have a unique approach to pruning. We can't help but smile at their antics. Who needs landscapers when you've got moose-tailored gardening? It's always an adventure on our Alaskan homestead. Well, it is definitely getting colder. 15 degrees this morning, blue sky, very nice day, but cold. And uh, here is what we've got going here. We got a steel barrel and we have the camp stove uh, kit to uh, turn it into a, a stove for our wood chop inside. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead unpack this box here we just we just purchased it and uh, i'm going to read the manual make sure i do it right and then we're going to start cutting into this barrel and uh, get a really good fire going today outside and get all this paint uh, burned off because if you don't do that and you put it straight in to the the space where you're going to use it it's going to sting out the entire room for quite some time it's pretty toxic when when this paint comes off so i want to do this outside here today give it some time and then uh, let it cool off and then tomorrow bring it into the shop, into the wood shop, and then we're gonna install the chimney and get this thing uh, ready and going. And definitely read the instructions in the manual. That's the part I usually skip. <laughs> then I wonder when things don't fit or work. So I better not skip that part this time. Minimum clearances, that's a big one. So we're not getting too close to our wall here. Oh, nice. That's a way nicer door than the one, the last one we had. That is sweet. Got a good size opening. Here's your uh, air control. Nice. And I did buy a uh, some high heat mortar. I've never actually used it before. And then here are the legs for it. So the barrel's gonna sit right in here. So it doesn't look too complicated. One front, one back. And then this here is gonna be the, uh, the part where the chimney is gonna slide into. Okay, let's get uh, some of these measurements how we need to do this, and then we'll start cutting into the barrel. Now I'm gonna use the bottom of it where the seam is of that barrel, which is right here. So I'm gonna go about right here. So of course, I got a little bit of frost on the barrel on the bottom here. Maybe I'm gonna use a metal scraper or something, or maybe a nail, that might be even better. And then here we need to come down just a little bit more for the for the air part. Wow, 
Wow, this cut's really good. So I decided I'm going to use a jigsaw instead of a, an angle cutter. And it seems to work pretty good. Okay, I think that will do. So now we need to install the the chimney adapter going into the barrel. Just have to measure one inch from the outside in, and that's where our cut's going to be. Okay, just about right here. So doesn't have to be super exact, but we want to make sure we're not getting too far or too close to the holes because that's where it's going to get screwed to the barrel. And I want to have enough material to do that. So about right here. So one more cut to get this all cut out right here. Then we'll drill the holes and we can mount this piece to the barrel. Well, that is very loud. So I highly recommend ear protection. So let's go ahead and apply some of the, uh, what do they call it, high heat mortar. So this is a little finicky here. Try to get these nuts down in there through that little hole because I can't really go in from the front because my arms aren't long enough. And then I have that mortar, which is very messy. So Tasha just gave me a latex glove. So hopefully that'll work. So we got the center, we got the holes marked. And now we can go ahead and drill them and see if we can get these uh, legs installed. Okay, one more on the back, and then we can go ahead and finish the, uh, the door. All right, we got the fireplace all cleaned out on the inside. I'm going to go ahead now and start a fire in it. Nice and uh, nice and easy, low flame, not too much heat. And then uh, let it burn for about an hour. And then we can crank up the heat a little bit and get rid of that paint. Well, the paint is changing. It's going to get getting dark now, so hopefully it'll uh, either burn off.
to the point where it just doesn't smell anymore. So we'll just keep feeding that fireplace here today. Everything is working good so far. There's the damper. And there's no smoke coming out around the, uh, the seal, so that's good. That was my biggest concern. That's why I put that motor on there and it's nice and dry already. So it's exactly doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, we're ready. We got everything cleaned up. We got the shop organized. And uh, the fireplace is nice and cool now. So we're gonna bring it in here, set it up. And then tomorrow I'm gonna get one more piece, uh, one more attachment for the, for the actual fireplace connected to the flue. And then we got one stack on the outside with a cap on top. So if it rains or snows, it doesn't come in. And we're actually good to go. So I have all these tiny little melons and they were like the little leftovers and I think I'm going to cut them up and give them to the chickens. This one right in front is Honey. We call her Honey because she's a sweetheart and she is a mix between a Bielefelder and a Sussex. And she has been the best mother, the best uh, egg layer, the best, like really sweet to me, always comes running to me, um, my favorite hen. And she's the ugliest, she looks like a ptarmigan or something. <laughs> you can see that my roosters have a favorite and uh, she needs a saddle and the roosters have to just get more kind. I don't know what to do. install the uh, concrete board now. Okay, so here's my spacer. I'm gonna go right about here, and I'm not sure if I need to pre-drill or if these uh, self-drilling wood screws are gonna go through the concrete board. So we'll, we'll try it out and see uh, if it's gonna work. Of course, I got a bad screw right here. Oh, yeah. Put a little washer on there so it doesn't crack. So before I get too carried away here, I think I'm gonna just 
do a little bit more detail work here and make sure we're all nice and straight. And I'm gonna leave my set screws out and, just, and then just gonna go ahead and put the outside piece on, on the roof. And then we start a fire and see what it does. Okay, on the roof. Let's go up there. Let me show you what we got here. There it is. So hopefully I get this cab off pretty quick. It's basically, it's an old uh, dog food dish. And if I remember right, I put some sealant on it. Oh, I put two screws in it. Yep. Well, let's see if I have the right one. What? No, that never happens. It's always the wrong one. Not this time, I was lucky. Here comes the moment of truth. Hopefully, hopefully it works the way it's supposed to. <laughs> I think I screwed up. There is nothing coming through the chimney. And that's why I have more smoke in the shop than outside. Yep. I bet you anything, there's something stuck up in here somewhere. So I'm gonna just quickly uh, disconnect this one. That's why I didn't want to do the set screws yet, just in case there is a problem. And I'm glad I never did. And there is absolutely no smoke coming out. So I brought my headlamp see if we can see something. Bingo. I don't know if you can see it right now, but that's the problem right here. Fiberglass insulation in the pipe. There it is. There it is. Jeez, look at that. No wonder. No wonder. There we go. Now we got the smoke bird. Should be going. We really want to thank you for being a part of our homestead journey. We can't wait to share the warmth with you this winter while we work on our winter projects. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, take care and stay warm. Bye.